China's Defense Ministry on Monday announced joint naval and air drills with Russia starting this month, underscoring the closeness between their militaries as Russia presses its grinding invasion of Ukraine. The ministry said the Northern United 2024 exercises would take place in the Sea of Japan and the Sea of Okhotsk farther north, but gave no details. It said the naval and air drills aim to improve strategic cooperation between the two countries and strengthen their ability to jointly deal with security threats. The notice also said the two navies would cruise together in the Pacific, the fifth time they have done so, and together take part in Russia's Great Ocean 24 exercise. No details were given. China has refused to criticize Russia's full-scale military actions in Ukraine and blamed the U.S. and NATO for provoking President Vladimir Putin. Vladimir 根据本次任务特点，我们制定了多种。明确各种攻援手段使用原则和这次演习针对不同场景需求。Recently, the Russian armed forces Shahed Kamikaze drones attacking Ukraine have begun flying into Belarus. This is probably not an accident, but a deliberate provocation by the Kremlin. This opinion was expressed by the popular Telegram channel Siv on Socrates. It is noted that Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko has recently begun to waver on the issue of Ukraine. He makes statements that contradict the general line of the Putin regime. For the Kremlin, such rhetoric is absolutely unacceptable. Belarus, as an instrument of warfare, is also assigned a certain role in the strategy of Muscovy. There, they are very suspicious of the current rhetoric of Minsk, which contains at least three seditious moments. We are talking about a peaceful Belarus, i.e. a refusal to be involved in Russian military adventures. Then Lukashenko admits the presence of adequacy in the actions of the Ukrainian leadership. Finally, Putin's most painful point is touched. He is not eternal either. He must prepare for departure. In the Russian Federation, they immediately made the appropriate conclusions about the double think of the Belarusian leadership and began to urgently take measures to urgently draw the de facto semi-occupied satellite into the orbit of Russian military algorithms. The resource writes, It is emphasized that the Kremlin really does not like the vacillations of the Lukashenko, in connection with which they began to put intense pressure on Belarus, including through the Shaheds. The situation with kamikaze drones is already so serious that Belarusian troops have to use the air defense system to intercept them. The author believes that such provocations are an act of military aggression by Russia, which is dangerous to turn a blind eye to. It cannot be ruled out that the Kremlin will raise the stakes to force Lukashenko to fully engage in the war. For now, such incidents are just testing the waters, and in the future we should expect major problems and risks. The channel writes, it believes that Belarus should urgently begin neutralizing Russian agents as well as strengthening the air defense system on its eastern border. The scenario of Russia bombing Belarus looks quite realistic and there is no doubt that the Kremlin will be able to explain to its citizens why this is necessary. In fact, the main and only threat to Belarus today is not Ukraine or NATO, but supposedly friendly Russia.